Welcome, my name is Brandon. I'm going to be showing you how to load a flash onto an ASA 5505 today using TFTP server of SolarWinds. Um, first thing we need to do is make the IP into a certain uh, network that we both, everybody knows. Um, I'm going to be setting mine as 10.0.0.1. with a you don't need a default gateway I'm putting it in just for fun and once that is set um, you're safe to start um, I have my flash in the computer local disk TFTP root which is the uh, TFTP server we'll be using this is where it's going to get the flash to transfer over to the ASA 5505 um, First thing we do, make sure that the a the ASA is booting. As you can tell, it says unable to boot an image. Um, what this means is there is no image. So as you see right here, you're going to press escape, and it's going to bring you into ramen mode. Once in ramen mode, well, if you know the IP of your computer, that will be the called the server. The first thing you're going to want to do is do address equals this, it's going to be an IP of the same network. I'm going to set mine as 10.0.0.2 with the 255.0.0 mask. You don't need the um, mask apparently. Once set, you're going to do server equals and then the IP of your computer image equals this is where you're actually going to go back to the file you were at and you're going to actually give the full name mine is ASA843-K8.bin ASA843- K8 dot bin you do have to put the bin and we're getting things popping up once that is in gonna do TF TP all right the next this is everything you will need um, now we put the port this was gonna tell you what port the um, you're going to be doing the TFTP through. Mine is the uh, Ethernet um, zero zero. Support so equals Ethernet zero zero. Link is up as you can see the MAC address and everything. TFTP. and for some reason it's not wanting to work and we're just waiting to see if it'll work or not or not which in this case you actually need to start the TFTP server that is what I forgot you're gonna go to configure start okay you do have to make sure that it is configured to what you need um, I'm gonna do my service binding get rid of this get rid of this and this is the IP I'll be using and make sure you go to security make sure it says allow all general still started okay now gonna tr cancel this and restart alright TFTP 
service was stopped. I don't know why. And there we are. What this is doing, doing it is loading the um, .bin file into the temporary flash. What this will do is it will it is actually going to boot from the TFTP server. Um, if you shut your ASA off in this process, it will not it will not save. It will delete once shut off, and you will have to restart again. Um, this is the longest process of the whole thing. Is just waiting for this. As you can see, it now says launching TFTP image. Once it loads, what you'll, it'll actually be in the flash. You are not done yet. Once it is fully loaded, um, we will continue. Now that we are loaded, we're going to do a dir. First, we need to go into enabled mode. Um, there is going to be no password, just just hit enter. Now, dir slash recursive. This brings up everything. As you can see right here in the disk zero log, there is no files. This is actually going to be where the flash is going to be going once we transfer it from the TFTP server over to the actual flash. So, our next thing we need to do is set a uh, VLAN IP. The VLAN IP is going to be the same thing as we set earlier on the address. So, we're going to do config T. Um, no. Int VLAN, I'm going to use VLAN 1. IP address 10.0.0.2. On here, you will need a uh, subnet mask. Once this is done, the next thing to do is a name IF. This is just naming the um, VLAN. I will name it ASA. Okay. As you can see, the security level for the ASA is set to zero by default. Once this is done, you're going to exit out to the regular config mode. Int or interface. Ethernet zero zero again, and you're going to do a um, switch port access VLAN one. What this is doing is it is going to be allowing the Ethernet to go through the VLAN one IP address. Once this is done, you're going to do a no shut end. All right. Now that all the IP is done, you're going to do a copy TFTP flash colon the address of the computer. Mine was 10.0.0.1 ASA 843 K8. All this says is putting back in the source file name. Again, as you can see now up here on the TFTP server, it is copying over from the TFTP onto the actual flash. 
in a minute you will see that it is going to be um, copying into the disk zero where earlier when we did the dir recursive it is uh, it was empty as you can see it just went up that it is being written into the flash okay now that it is written in we're going to do a dir slash recursive again and as you can see it is now loaded show flash and there you are right here is the flash All right. now to uh, successfully check to make sure that it was loaded we're gonna do copy run start what this is on is it a saving it on you're gonna do a reload what we're doing now is we're actually restarting the ASA 5505 to make sure that it was successfully copied over it will look different from the first boot up where it said no um, bootable image it should say the ASA 843-K8 is the bootable image now As you can see, there was no. Um, uh, there was actually a disk image in it now, loading ASA 843-K8.bin. This shows now that the flash is successfully loaded into the disk RAM of the ASA 5505. Um, the first boot up will take a bit to do because it is configuring. As you can see, it says ready from flash. This means that it's successfully been loaded, and you now have the uh, 843. What we're going to do is we're going to do a enable mode, no password again, show flash. And there you have it. You have successfully uh, loaded ASA 843-K8.bin onto the flash of the ASA 5505. Thank you for watching, and good luck.